Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone and welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Twin Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what message comes through. This is a divine masculine who is with a karmic a person. I, I see it as more of like a relationship, so a kar karmic partner. There's a lot of things that this divine masculine has been experiencing and going through. Divine masculine is constantly thinking about divine feminine here. They're thinking about um, how it would be like to restore some sort of connection with Divine Feminine. I don't see them actually doing it in this reading, but they think about it a lot. Like how how would it be like if they were to reach out to you? How would it be like um, if you two were in communication again? How would that conversation play out? They imagine how a phone call will take place, how how the conversation will go through that phone call. So it's a lot of like daydreaming, imagining um, how things would be like if you were back in their life. Um, but I see here that this Divine Masculine, they, they are currently in a relationship with a karmic partner and they don't see it as a possibility at this time to to connect with Divine Feminine. There's a lot of daydreaming here. There's a lot of, um, if they were to restore a connection with you, how can they um, transform that relationship? Like, how can they make things better? How can they make it, like, new? Because they know that the things that happen between you two, there's a lot of, a lot of pain, a lot of, um, they feel like they, that, there's no trust like they lost your your trust in them and if things have you know ended badly between divine mask and divine feminine um specifically in this reading they were to if they were to reach out to you it's like can things be the way they were like can they be the same the way that divine feminine used to um, talk to me or the way we used to interact like the way we used to joke have those types of conversations where we just talk and talk and and there's no like um there's no concept of time it's like you don't see you don't realize how much time has gone by you you are so engaged in that conversation it's like you're in this in your own little world like are we able to come to that point eventually if i were to connect with divine feminine here so they're thinking a lot about um how you two used to be and if there is a possibility of having something like that again They know that somebody had lied to you. They know that um, somebody lied about you. There's something about misinformed. Um, somebody said something that was not true about them to you and about you to them. They feel that whoever got involved had the intention to um, create doubts and Again, coming back to like lack of trust, lack, lack of, um, it's like there, there was no stability, um, as a strong, like there was no strong foundation built there because of that lack of trust. They may have even said something like that to you, like, oh, um, trust is earned or 
um, I need to, I need to, or you need to prove, prove yourself. So I'm getting something like that. Like this masculine was someone who knows that trust was not a strong part of your relationship. Can I rebuild trust or is it possible to have that type of trust after everything that has happened? Especially when this divine masculine is still with this karmic person. It could be because this masculine has been with this karmic person for some time after their separation from you. I do see here, after a breakup from divine feminine, this divine masculine carried on like everything was okay. They carried on that they were happy, that they were that they were busy in their day-to-day -day life. So... If you had access to this masculine's um, social media, for example, and they pit posted pictures about, you know, their work or their daily routine or their job or travel, that's so something like that. Um, at the time, they they made it, they made their life appear like everything is going very smoothly, and in some cases, some things were working out at the time. And they didn't display any type of regret of your breakup. So I see here, the breakup happened and then they showed immediately after that they're okay, that they're happy. That's what I see here. This to my masculine, even in, in their life, they started a lot of different things like brand new. So after their separation from Divine Feminine, when they were with this, um, when they got in this uh, karmic relationship, right? Uh, in the initial stages of their relationship, this Divine Masculine tried a lot of different things. I see her new things. They even like, could be like a new look, new appearance, new style, um, new way of living, uh, new location. There's a lot of things here, so I'm just mentioning it. New location, uh, new outlook in life. Uh, feelings are expressed differently, uh, emotions expressed differently, their idea of um, love, presenting it in a different way, uh, the way that they communicate with others was different. Uh, so even the way that they talk, some of these some of these people that know Divine Masculine may have noticed that, like, why is Divine Masculine talking like that? Like, why are they, like, raising their eyebrows or, like, why are they, like, um, playing with their hair or... Why are they, you know, faking a different accent? Like something like that. Like there's something about them not being natural. They change things about them to kind of like present the new them to their new life. For them, it's like a whole new world, a new beginning. Let me create the new me. But the, the creation of that new me, that divine masculine created about themselves to, to be a part of this karmic person's life, it doesn't look natural at all. There was a time, I don't know who this resonates for, but I'm going to mention it. There was a time when you two talked after this Divine Masculine was with this karmic person. So after these two connected, Divine Masculine over here, right? And then Divine Feminine, you you communicated with Divine Masculine after they were in that relationship. And there's something that you told the Divine Masculine, like you shared some sort of truth with Divine Masculine and they know, they know the truth. And they may have either said that I know, like I know what you mean, like without saying much, they, they acknowledge that I know you're speaking the truth or they, in a respectful way, they acknowledge that you're trying to share the truth with them. But I see it as they, they knew it, like they knew certain things about what was happening or what was going on, either when you two were together or when you what happened between you two um, being together and the separation, that gap, and then them going to this karmic person. I don't know why I'm getting that. You may know whoever this resonates for, whoever um, resonates for, you know what I mean. But what I'm getting is that you two were together. Then when you two separated, there was this gap, this, this, um, uh, it was, um, not a long gap. It was just like temporary gap. And then they connected to this uh, karmic person. In between that, something happened. And then this uh, divine feminine here connected with divine masculine to, to speak, uh, 
speak about something that happened, like the truth about the situation, something that they know. And this divine masculine is like, I know. And I feel like it's connected to that karmic person. So maybe this, because I'm, another thing I'm getting is that this karmic person may have reached out to divine feminine in some point where this truth or information was shared to divine masculine it's like divine feminine may have shared something about this karmic person to divine masculine at the time when there was that brief gap um so that's why i see here it's like i know i know what you mean like i i understand even if they don't know what exactly took place but just by divine feminine sharing that information is like they're acknowledging that i understand you know know what's going on um but what did Divine Masculine do about it? I don't see them doing anything about it. Like they knew some sort of truth after it was shared by Divine Feminine here. And Divine Masculine didn't do anything. They may not even have mentioned it to this karmic person. It's like I know and I'm just going to keep it to myself. I know that that you're being truthful that this is what happened. And they they acknowledge it and I think they appreciate it. But they're not going to say anything to this karmic person because they kind of feel like obligated to to be like I feel like they're obligated in some reason to be with that karmic person so they're like I'm not going to mention it it's going to create more complications whatever divine feminine said so they are withholding that information from the karmic person so for whoever that resonates for you probably know this more than I do <laughs> but that's what I'm getting what happened so it's not going to resonate for all but that's what I get what happened with some someone This Divine Masculine, they think a lot about what happened between you two, how it ended, and how they got into this karmic um, relationship. They feel like they didn't do it properly. Like they, there is like, I should have been more gentle with Divine Feminine um, when they, when they chose this karmic person. I see here that they, they kind of, they're kind of hard on themselves on the way they handled it and some cases this divine masculine may have snapped like they may have appeared differently to divine feminine what i'm getting in this reading in the past when you two separated and this divine masculine chose the the karmic partner um when divine feminine divine masculine spoke again this divine masculine said something um to divine feminine like they they were very rude and i i i'm getting is that they all of a sudden snapped like they were rude and it took divine feminine off guard divine feminine you didn't expect that kind of response or behavior it's like who is this person like why why are they acting like this like why are they talking to me in that way and you you felt that um, that karmic person changed this divine masculine. It's like I've never seen this part of masculine before. They were never like this, like rude or the way that they responded was very disrespectful. You feel, and I, and they know that they were disrespectful the way that they talked to you. So this is a divine masculine who responded to divine feminine in a not so good way after they, um, after they separated from divine feminine, and then they went to this karmic person. Divine Feminine here, um, I see here that there's a Divine Feminine here who is very close to their family, their loved ones. So this could be siblings, parents, um, their family. I just see family of Divine Feminine, uh, whoever is in their uh, family uh, unit. And I see here that Divine Feminine was um, not turned but was supported by the family members so during your separation these family members they were there for you they stood by you they stood by your side and they were very truthful to you so some things that they didn't like about divine masculine they stated it's like they stated the facts what they observed from their experience with divine masculine and some cases if they didn't meet divine masculine based off of what you shared with with the family these family members are like that doesn't sound good you know that that shouldn't have happened like they should have been more supportive or more respectful there's something about them speaking very truthfully um no sugarcoating like they were very truthful 
about what they saw in Divine Masculine and what they saw between you two. What they observed and what they observed, whether it be like how you two were together or interacted or based off of what you shared with them. They um they were very truthful on what they what they felt was the connection or what they felt um divine masculine was when they were with you. There's something about it's not about the money. I see here some some family members saying it's not about the money. Um I'll I'll get more into that because I'm I'm not quite sure how that is connected to what I said previously I, I feel it's something else so for whoever that resonates for oh so it says it's not about the money there's something about um relying on on the um uh, relying on what divine masculine promised there was a divine masculine uh who promised something to divine feminine and promise something to the family. It has to do with um, money. Uh, some because the relationship didn't work out. The family is saying it's don't worry about it. It's not about the money. This divine masculine may have promised some sort of support, right? But out of um, out of responsibility. There's something about being responsible for some sort of support. Um, didn't follow through with that support or that promise, and the family's like. It's not about the money. They're trying to make Divine Feminine feel like, uh, don't worry about that. Over, uh, Not overlook it, but like push that aside. Look at the other things that is concerning that connection between you and Divine Masculine. Like that's not the point. It's like that money, that thing that they promised, that's not the point. So these family members are very like, um, very specific. They're very good at looking at what's the root cause, right? Like don't look at the at the surface. Look at the root. What is the root cause or the root or the main reason to uh what is going on here? So there there is uh, something about money, uh financial support um was promised to to divine feminine or divine feminine's family. In some case it has to do with um Some kind of commitment you two made together, not with relationship, but some other commitment that has to do with your unit, your family. Some sort of financial support for your family. I feel it could be like supporting like a sibling or um, another family member and this Divine Masculine, because they were with Divine Feminine at the time, they felt like it was kind of like their duty to help provide or support something about um, the culture as well. I don't know, but there's something about culture here. It's like they felt the responsibility to take care of whatever they promised financially to Divine Feminine and to other family members. So another thing I see here is that this karmic person, when it comes to divine masculine, divine feminine's relationship, this karmic person knew this. They knew that you two um, had a relationship together. Some of them may not know you personally, but they know of you. And what happened was they were displaying some sort of insecurity with divine masculine. They felt like, what if this divine masculine decides to choose divine feminine? or decides to go back to Divine Feminine. They felt like they were the second choice or the second option. This karmic person, there's something about uh, when Divine Masculine went into a relationship with the karmic partner, karmic partner was always feeling like this kind of like doubt or fear that this Divine Masculine will return um, home to Divine Feminine. They may have even shared this to Divine Masculine, addressed their concerns that, you know, why are you 
why are you still in connection with Divine Feminine? Why are you still carrying their picture? Why are you still in communication with them? Why are you still connected to their family? That sort of thing. So there's something about a connection still remains between you and Divine Feminine that made this karmic person very insecure. Even if there was no proof of communication, but there's something about them knowing that you're still there or still around or something like that. Like in the area or close proximity, it's like, oh, they there might be something still going on there. So this karmic person wanted some kind of proof that that if you are committed to me, prove that you're committed to me. This Divine Masculine looks like when they're with this karmic person, whenever they're with this karmic person, it's like they don't have the courage to say what they want to say or the courage to be themselves. Like they can be themselves like normal, like who they are in reality. And what I'm getting here is that there could have been a situation where this karmic person and Divine Masculine were somewhere and Divine Feminine, you were just by chance in that place or something like say if this karmic person divine mask were at the mall right and you were you went there shopping you're doing your own thing and you spotted masculine masculine spotted you right and then the karmic person spotted divine masculine spotting you so that created a more insecurity because it happened by chance this karmic person may have thought that you two planned to meet there it's like what are the odds of divine feminine being here like you must have planned this and what i'm getting from this reading is that this karmic person stormed off like whenever something happened that made this person feel insecure or made them feel like divine masculine planned something to reconnect with divine feminine even if there's no proof of it this person would storm off like they were really insecure and still is insecure about your connection. Divine Masculine, there's still feelings here for Divine Feminine. I see that they have feelings for Divine Feminine. They still feel for you, but they they have this kind of like feeling like of that they're they they as if they have no choice but to be with that it's like out of obligation or something there's something about they feel that they have no choice but to to be like they're stuck like they feel like they're stuck and this karmic person may have said this divine to divine masculine along the lines of like why do you make me feel like i'm holding you here why are you making me feel like like i've i've made you stay why do you make me feel like uh it's my fault or something like that so this to my masculine, they're not saying anything. And I feel like when they are with this karmic person, they don't express mu much when it comes to what their feelings, what they feel about their their relationship with this person. And then they try their best not to talk about you at all. But you do come into conversation. And I feel it's because of this karmic person here, because of the insecurities that they feel about you. When you two were together, there was a time when, like near the end of your relationship, when you before you separated, there was a time when this divine masculine was very like rushed, like they were doing things very quickly. It was because they were nervous about this karmic person. That karmic person was in their life. In some cases, they were already dating. They were already together. And then they were in communication or with you. They gave you the impression that you were the only one and they were already dating somebody else. So that's why when they were with you, whenever you two were together, it may have felt very rushed. Like, oh, let's just, uh, okay, you know, like, let's just quickly have this meal. But they they may not have even said it in that way, but they gave the impression that I have to go kind of thing. And you didn't question, like, why do you have to go? What's the hurry or anything? You just went along with the flow. And you noticed that there was kind of like a speed, like everything was like fast forward. Like whenever you went out, whenever you talked, whenever you met up, there was everything like more like a fast pace. The only time I feel like things felt like a little bit calm was when that karmic person was at work. 
That's what I'm getting here. Like when this person was at their work or job or whatever, they were busy. And Divine Masculine knew that this person will not interfere. So that's when the time that they spent with you or the time that they talked to you, it was more of like a steady, calm pace. But when this person was not at work, like say if they were getting off work early or they were on their way home, whatever the case may be, this Divine Masculine felt very like uncomfortable knowing that this karmic person can show up or would call or something like that. And they didn't want you to know about it. In some cases, it was not that they were dating them, but they were seeing them and they were seeing you. This another, um, another thing I'm getting here. But there's something about, they were worried about the karmic person knowing about you. And they didn't want you to know that, they didn't want you to like sense that there was somebody else. So they just tried to, make things look like normal but they were acting like strange like I, I again i'm getting that like fast pace but divine feminine soul i i feel like you really love your divine masculine you really trusted them so you never question like how come one day you know things are going so well and next day when you meet up it's like okay like i think we'll we'll meet another time or something like that it's like very fast like say if you plan to go out and eat and then you guys go and eat and then the next moment you know it's like they're dropping you home it's like what happened and i feel like some of you can really relate to that because that's what i'm getting here that this divine masculine did this they took you out they took you out somewhere it looks like some restaurant some cases instead of a restaurant like a good restaurant they took you to a fast food place and it was fast paced <laughs> it was really fast like you ate and then you literally just left like they dropped you home and you expected like to go out you expected to have a good time to have like some time together even to talk and I feel like this this masculine was limited on their words I don't see her communication so near that time when you two were close to separation, even when they communicated with you, it was very minimum. They hardly said anything. And what I'm getting is that they may have said a few words, right? Just to make it sound like they're having a conversation with you, but they didn't. They didn't have a conversation with you. It was just to make it look like I'm paying attention. I'm here. I'm present. But they didn't. They said enough to so that you wouldn't question them but at the same time when you walked away from that day it's like what happened like what was what did we talk about like it was basically nothing nothing of importance i feel just general talk divine masculine is shocked and amazed by your strength they never thought you would be this strong they saw you as somebody who was kind. They saw you as someone who was nice, polite, um, well-spoken, and somebody who cares. And they, they never thought of you as somebody who can become this, this strong, um, especially in your separation. When this thing happened, the separation between you and Divine Masculine, there could have been some sort of complications between you and the karmic partner and the way you handled it was very strong like you had a very um cool and kind of like calm demeanor like your strength it's not that you you thought about it it naturally came it's like you went in kind of like a, a strength that was like a survival mode like in a survival mode, like in that moment, it was like not planned. It was something that was very natural. Your, your heart was being protected. You protected your heart and that survival mode in that, in, in terms of like protecting your heart, that's when you stepped into your power and that was needed. I feel that was needed because that time when you were with your Divine Masculine, you didn't have that kind of strength yet. You didn't acquire that strength until the situation happened with this karmic person. Let's see what else is here. Again, I see a transformation um, of Divine Feminine transforming into something greater. 
it, it was an end of an old cycle, the end of an old cycle, how you were, how you used to be, how you used to be with Divine Masculine. It's like you became 2.0. <laughs> you became, you leveled up. You became a stronger version of yourself where you, where you felt that you need to respect yourself more. It's like not only expecting that from others, but it's like I need to respect myself enough so that I don't have to accept other people's um, behavior or the way that they speak to me or treat me because I feel like this divine mask on was not fair. I feel like whenever they did take you out, the way that they did communicate with you, it was unfair to you. And unfortunately, some of you allowed it to happen because at that time you didn't have that respect enough respect for yourself to say no like this is not this is not right and I see here that not only did you learn from that experience it's like now if divine masculine were to give less then it's like no I love myself enough respect myself enough to to want more to appreciate when I'm given what I I know I deserve right so this is a divine feminine who's like this time, if Divine Masculine were to take me out and just like rush and drop me home, it's like, no, that's not okay. That's not okay. Imagine the time Divine Feminine took to prepare for that day. It's like they could have taken time off for work. And I feel some of you did that. You took time off of work to meet your Divine Masculine. You took, you got off work early to meet your Divine Masculine. You got off work early. You went home. You got dressed up. You prepared yourself, right? And then you went to meet Divine Masculine. And you may have said, I have an appointment, told somebody at work, I have an appointment, not letting them know, like, you have a date. And then you took time off for your date. You got ready. Divine Masculine meets you somewhere or you or they pick you up or vice versa. And then they're like, let's go here. Let's go to this fast food place. Let's have a burger. And then you guys eat and then they're gone. It's like, okay, it's done. Like, see you next time. And you're like, that's not okay. Like now you're, now when you look back, you're like, that was not right. That was not fair. It's like I took time out of my day for this Divine Masculine. And what did Divine Masculine do? But I feel very strongly that when it came, vice versa, when it was time for them, like if they wanted to meet with you, it's like, I don't have, I don't have time right now. Or I'm unable, I'm unable to meet on Thursday. How about we meet on Saturday? right? It's like, then you have to reschedule your, your, you know, your stuff in order to meet Divine Masculine. They didn't make time for you, but they expected you to make time for them. So this is some of the things you may have realized or thought about. Because all those times you prepare to make time for your counterpart and then this divine masculine didn't prepare anything it's basically like when my schedule's open then we'll meet but i feel like they never took a day off for you i feel like they may have never left work early to meet with you but you did it for them One more thing I see here um, up ahead. I see here that Divine Feminine, the strength that you have, the direction that you're going, you know that this has been a learning process, yes. But I see here more of like a renewal, a restart, refresh, like a new version of yourself. You know that this is leading to something better. And I see here that you're doing a lot of things for yourself that will create a better version of you so that you know when to recognize when things are not okay, when to recognize when things you were not treating treated properly or if somebody, you know, um, takes you for granted. Those are the things that you are well aware of at this time. And I see here that uh, up ahead, whenever there is an opportunity to try something new or meet new people, um, there is more self-love and respect there. And it's because you learned a lot of, you know, lessons along the way and that experience you had with your counterpart, Divine Masculine, right? 
and this has created a new version of yourself and this is just the beginning i see here like the beginning of a new of a new you yes there has been changes along the way yes you have grown and improved in and learn new things but i see here like a new you this is the beginning of a new you it's like those things that changed were in preparation for this moment for you to become like the best version of yourself it's like this is just the start that was like the preview the movie hasn't started yet it's like this is a new movie it's not a sequel it's a new movie so i see here that this divine feminine is going to be experiencing a lot of new greater things and it's going to keep Divine Masculine questioning or guessing because they're not going to be able to understand you. The new version of Divine Feminine, they're not going to be able to understand who this person is. This is not the Divine Feminine I remember. This is not the Divine Feminine I remember. This is a, somebody who's quite strong. This is somebody who's quite confident. This is somebody who has a lot of love and respect for self. They won't allow or they feel like something like they won't allow me to to do what I used to do. So the way that they used to do things, they're, um, the word I'm getting is tactics. The things that they used to do, it doesn't work anymore. Like that's not going to slide. It's not going to slide. So this is a reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.